We are here at the Outdoor Motorsports Open House. They've put the word out that they were having a vintage ATV ATC show. So naturally we had to come. This is uh, my, my hometown dealership. Well, it's not my hometown, but many a Honda was bought here by my family and friends, and this is the local dealership. So I brought 15 machines here to show off. You guys touching my balloon tires, be careful, buddy. But uh, this is my, my newest. We just finished this last night. This is a Dan Henning Honda Trailer Clone. I got this raw, raw steel from Dan. I had my buddy Mike Wood powder coat it. And uh, these are Bruce Allman Blue Line decals on it. It came out wonderful. I love it. Pink Palomino's here. There's my buddy Davin's here. What's up, man? We are back. We are meeting new people all over. Look at this Sam Squanch. That's a nice one. Look at that. Commuter Industries. These things. These things went about 110, I think. Nice 83, 83 Big Red. This is very common on the 83 Big Red. So. Headlight bezel discoloration. A little 82 185S. It's 95300. Some two smokers. 85 TRX 200. 86 125 TRX. ALT 185, I don't know the year, 1985, 6x6, six six. this machine is a certified ripper, owned by my buddy Aaron, Aaron's around here somewhere, also owner of the BFR, as I keep my channel family friendly, we won't spell out that acronym and what it means. I did loan him that seat for the day, so. There's lots of things to look at here. Another very, very, very respectable 86350X. Nice tires on that. I think these are owned by my buddy Kevin. Yep, Kevin Simpson. This is cool. I think this whole corner is the Kevin Simpson corner. 87 Big Red. A couple Banshees, 250Rs. That's cool. I like that saddle. Almost like a drifter trike. Continue on, another 86 350X. This 250R is formerly owned by me. Dug this out of a basement in Schenectady, New York. One of the sketchiest deals I, I ever was involved with, we'll say. My friend Ron I met this morning. 200 axis LT 250R we'll just pan down through they are inspecting the tickets there's been voting going on so we'll see if if there's any winners this is Doug Pete's blue 350X of course with four snows on it How we doing, guys? Any winners over here? Come on, 
I hope, I hope so. So this is the trouble corner right here. <laughs> Time you get the com socks out, you can count on it. And over here is Charlie Hawkins. We've never met in person. You've been to my house. Yeah. From Vermont. You mind if I record you a little bit? Charlie, if you remember, was one of the few to finish the slowest wheelie competition. I think it was this close. I think, uh, yeah, but this is beautiful. This is like, uh, 89 250R inspired. Yeah. Yeah. Sharp. Is this the only one you brought? Yeah. Yep. Now you, you primarily have 70s? No, I have a little bit of everything. Okay. Okay. How many machines do you have? I think I have a 70 that you... Yeah, the one you got from the Yep. Yep. That's right. So, still got it. It's on the shelf. Yep. But I, it occurred to me I didn't record anything, so I'm trying to get stuff before voting. But So, I'll be back. I wanted to meet you in person, though. Good to meet you. Yeah, I'll be back again next year. Hopefully. Awesome. Awesome. I hope so. I've heard about this thing. What's your name? Steve Alders. Steve, it's nice to meet you. Nice you mind if I record you a little bit? No, I don't mind. What What am I looking at here? So it started off as a Suzuki R1, and it's been fabricated into a three-wheeler. That's awesome. Do you do all the fabrication yourself? Most of it. I had a buddy, uh, Ian Perry, help me on the motor a little bit. Yeah. And 450 back tires. Uh, what are the fenders? They're a Tao Tao one time. Okay. That's and awesome. The back swing on this Tao Tao. How does it handle? It's perfect for it's really stiff in the back, but uh, it's perfect for doing wheelies. Yep, good. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's I just, awesome. I built it to play around. And... Yeah, they don't even race them. Very cool. Uh, I don't think it was a I, I've never seen another one like it. Steve, uh, nice to meet you. Nice Got to keep moving. Thank you for sharing. Okay, a couple more before voting gets called. These is these are the Pat Farnham lineup. Pat just finished the redo on this Takati 500. If you remember from our shock rebuild videos, this was in Pat's shop, and Pat told me it took him all of 26 days to tear this down fully and do a full restore on it. Where is Pat? He told me that and I threw up in my mouth. But I don't even know what's going on here with the Suzuki. That's my buddy Mason over there. And this is Mason's custom 350X. Two-time award winner at the vintage ATC ATV show up in Northville, New York. Gorgeous. Who did the powder coating? Was that Mike? Mike Wood? Yep. Man, another quality Mike Wood Capital Region Customs powder coat job. He's got the Empire exhaust on it. Just really nice. And that's not a Clark tank, that's a steel tank. There's only Real men run steel tanks on their 350Xs. Keep your pocket nice clips in your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Did you know of Mike before? Uh, no. Or was it through no. well, Facebook? Through Facebook. Yep. How about that? And that's his wife, Abby. Hi, Abby. Good to see you. They're new homeowners. Congratulations. All right. <laughs> Over here, we got some run-of-the-mill three-wheelers, you know, stuff you see around everywhere. Tiger 500, you know, they made, they made dozens of these, right? Or a, a dozen? dozen? A dozen. A dozen. <laughs> this is the most original Tiger 250 you're ever going to see. One of one with dual radiators. These are owned by my friend who doesn't normally like to be on video. Nope. So we're just going to stay low. Stay low. Those, those are his legs. This is another Farnham. 
Takati 250. This is Toby's 85 Tri-Z he just restored. This is gorgeous. Look at this. And over here is my buddy Tom's 250SX. She's a good girl. He loves to do wheelies in the dealership parking lot. And this is my buddy Toby's Mike Co. replica. Is that really 200? Really a 200. Toby built this with his son. Little father son project. They did a great job. Short track tank on it. See that? Huh? Oh, really? That is a legit Mike Co. expansion chamber on that. West Coast swing arm. Low pro fenders from Brian Ditch, I believe. Also, low pro fenders from Brian Ditch on this. 500R. This was built by the infamous Pat Farnham. This sat on a shelf above a dealership in uh, South of Albany, New York for a number of years. That's where Toby acquired it from, but it was built by Pat Farnham. Where's Pat? There he is. Hey, Pat, how long did it take you to restore that 500? 26 days. 26 days. You, you know, disgust me, Pat. I finished it last night at 11.59. Uh, had it been midnight, it would have been 27 days. That's gross. And, uh, that's from the, from the crank up. I started with a crankshaft, uh, cases, suspension, bearings, you name it. Uh, all in all, it was in pretty good shape, but uh, still had to put my hands on every last part. But you know what the secret was? Lisa is so understanding that she lets you do that. This is my support Lisa. system, everybody. Yes. You know, I never introduced yes. my support system. Yep. You know, so Lisa is the same. Every successful man, there's a lot of hard work. Yes. No, <laughs> this is a good woman. Um, no, this Very is, nice yeah. on your part. You know, I've, I've been pointing out all the Farnums I come across around here, so that. That. I can tell they're the clean ones. So anyway, we're going low, going low. Moving on. Got a nice 110 here. Look at that. No cup on it. And they must have had some votes in there. Oh, no. Oh. 89, 250R. It's a shame that these fenders, not just these fenders, but this is just what they do. Something about that material. This whole line is owned by a guy... Uh, Ryan that I met a month or so ago two months ago um, he sold me some literature very nice 88 250R what we got here 85 first gen US 90 with the Palm Grin wheel kit on it Nanco tire on the front He's got four snows on the back. Gives you the look. Here is a Polaris Scrambler. You don't see many of these. 252 stroke Polaris three wheel. Takati four. I don't know the year, but I can see. 88. And just your run of the mill quadzilla chilling over here. Nothing, nothing special. But we're gonna sneak through here. But I, I brought a sampling, mostly things that were close to the door and easy to be rolled on the trailer. Pink Palominos here. I know it did get some votes. 
to 84, 200 E. I, I might have voted for it. I might have been the only one. I think that concludes our our walk around of the the open house here. We'll see what who wins. 16 votes. Uh, second there is uh, entry uh, 41, Dalen Lanson. Uh, he's got 15 votes. Uh, Nick Rizuki is the third. He was entry number 57. He's got 12 votes. So that's for the ATVs. We got Ryan, Dalen, and Nick. And then on the ATC side, uh, with 21 votes, Mason Black. Woo! Entry number Good job, one. Mason. Second, Alex Stone. He was entry number 42. He had 17 votes. And third, to uh, Toby Middlebrook uh, with 12 votes. He was uh, uh, entry number three. So if you guys don't mind getting those units and getting them out front, we'd like to take some photos of that. And we've got prizes for the winners too. So if you guys want to get them set out there, we'll get you the prize gift cards. It was a $100 gift card for first in both categories. And we did $50 for 25 for second year. So wow. thank you everybody for coming. We I heard it was just a handshake, but <laughs> you must have dug deep. Just like that, we are back home. It is the next day. Yesterday was a big day. And I got home from the show. Uh, I brought two trailerfuls of stuff. Uh, I got my enclosed trailer here. And I borrowed an open trailer from a buddy. And I had this elaborate tarping system because it was rainy and yucky. I didn't want to get overspray from the wheels, mainly kicking up water onto my machines. And that was a nightmare. So I decided then I was going to make two trips with my enclosed trailer. The first trip, I got all the the sport machines back. And, and then the second trip was bringing the, uh, the rest. I'm pulling in the driveway. I can hear my buddy, my buddy Derek. So we're gonna shut this off for just a minute. I didn't even know if I could find my way out here. <laughs> it has been a while. I'm recording, of course. So gotta get these things unloaded. So we'll pause that. Okay, just had a nice visit with my buddy Derek. We took the the SXs for a little ride. We went down and checked out how high the lake level is. <clears throat> it's overflowing the spillway at the dam. It's so high. Check that out. We checked the woods out. He hadn't been here in a little bit, so hadn't seen my my trails and some things I'd done. He hadn't been here since I put metal in the ceiling in my shop, all these things. But what I have done is just opened up the path to get these machines put back. We got this 1970 US 90 here that is a cream puff. Not a creamy, cream enough puff to, did I even say that right? Not cream puff enough to win a trophy yesterday, but nothing of mine won a trophy. But I'll get these out. The, the tricky part about showing your machines off is moving them. And there's always stress about 
damaging them during movement and and it's just something you got to deal with i guess so let's get these put back and i'll be done for the day but i'll save you from all that that's boring um thanks for watching it was a neat event that my uh that my local dealer put on and they say they're going to do it again and they're going <clears> to <throat> maybe schedule it for when it's warmer but we'll see i met a lot of cool people uh let's name drop some people i met david and bob uh brothers from eastern new york they were cool uh we talked for a long time i i met uh ron and ina from bennington vermont very cool people uh they're coming to my event uh, this this august and doug dave and david and bob uh if you are interested in coming to my vintage event in august Reach out to me on Facebook is is the best way. Uh, if you're not on Facebook, comment in the video and we can figure out how to get in touch with each other. I don't publicly put it out there because I want to have control over who comes and and uh, I don't want just Joe Blow off the street coming to where I live because that's, uh, that's not cool. But anyway, unless I've approved Joe Blow is what I'm saying. Got to talk to Charlie Hawkins in person. Charlie Hawkins is from uh, is from Vermont. He came to my event last year, but I didn't get to talk to him. Who else did we meet? Eric Dillenbach. Uh, I got to talk to him. There was a number of people. Now I can't remember them all. But if I forgot you and we did talk, leave a comment. Remind me so uh, I can commit it to memory. I really try to work hard on remembering names, and when I can't remember them, it, it frustrates me sometimes. So I always want to know who's watching, and if I can meet you in person, uh, I would like that. If you ever see me somewhere and uh, and you're hesitant about bothering me, don't don't be hesitant. Come on right up and say hi. Uh, I'll let you know if I got a if I got something to do. But that was that was the biggest challenge. Everybody wanted to talk, but I had. Since I brought down two trailer fulls of stuff, which was overkill, and I really didn't need to do that, I got there later than I wanted to, and then I was uh, wiping things down and trying to get things cleaned up as as the party was starting, and and uh, and then I had to wipe and talk. I can hear the raindrops on the roof, so I should probably call this, and go fetch my Honda trailer, and bring that over. But again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you were at the show. And met me, it was great. If not, we'll catch you guys another time. Bye.